Hello class 5. Welcome back to your English language class. I will take your English language class today. So children take out your English language book that is basic English grammar and composition and open your book at page number 13. And these days in the previous classes we have completed collective noun and as I have already told you in the previous class also today we will start with material noun. Now what is material noun? Material noun say this is material nouns will start with same chapter page number 13. Now what is material nouns? Material nouns are the names given to the substances are or material of which things are made up of. Okay, clear. Material nouns are what? Material nouns are the materials or the substances of which or the matters of which things are made up of. Things are made. Okay, this, this is known as material noun. Suppose I'll give you examples like, see this is a pencil. This pencil is made up of what? Wood. So wood is what? The substance or the material of which this pencil is made up of. So wood is material now. Clear? See this bangle. This bangle is made up of gold. So gold is a substance or a matter of which this bangle is made up of. So gold is a material noun. Clear? See this water bottle. This water bottle is made up of plastic. Isn't it? So plastic is the matter of which this bottle is made of. Okay. So plastic is material noun. In this way you will find many more examples like silver, wood, then uh, brass, isn't it? Then paper, glass, leather, wool, this cardigan is made up of wool. Okay, wood is the matter or the substance of which the cardigan is made up of. Okay, so this wool, then sugar, salt, all these are what? The substances or matters. So they are called material noun. Is it clear to you? Material noun? Clear? Okay. Now remember two things. Material nouns are not generally used in plural numbers. So material noun, we do not use material noun generally in plural numbers. Like I will now not say this bangle is made up of gold. This bottle is made up of plastics. Only in singular form we speak. Wood. This table is made up of, suppose one table, this table is made up of wood, not woods. Okay, so we know that material nouns are not generally used in plural numbers. Number two is the articles A and N are not used before a material noun. Always remember before a material noun, the articles A and N are not used. This bottle is made up of A plastic, A sugar, A iron, N iron. We never say, okay? We never say an iron, a, a wood, then a gold, a silver. So the article A and N are omitted before, what? Before material noun. Is it clear? These two points are also given in the book. Go through the book, you will understand it properly. Okay? If you have any confusion, you can ask me also, children. Okay, so shall we start with one exercise? Exercise number J. Let us do. Okay, are you all ready with a pencil in your hand? I hope you are. Chalo, let us do. Exercise number J is complete the sentences using suitable material nouns from the bracket. See, here you have to do the fill up. Options are given. Suitable material noun you have to choose from this three. Three options are given. So you have to choose according to the uh, demand of the sentence. You have to choose the correct material noun and fill up the blanks. I will tell you and you will also do along with me. Clear? See number one. Ornaments are made of. 
ornaments this means whatever we wear like ladies generally we wear uh, this earrings bangles isn't it so many things necklaces so these ornaments ornaments are made up of what paper do you wear ornaments of paper no isn't it paper plastic or gold so mostly ornaments are made up of gold so you will put a tick above gold and write the same here ornaments are made up of gold g o l t gold done next number 2 cups and plates are made up of woods wood sorry woods we never say because we have learned we have remember do you remember material noun in case of material noun we never use them in plural form isn't it so cups and plates are made up of wood glass or china clay so sometimes cups and plates are made up of glass also and china clay most of the time so you can write china clay so then then number 3 machines are made up of what steel iron or cotton machines machines are made up of iron isn't it so you'll put a tick here and here you'll write iron okay turn the page open your page turn the page uh page number 14 you come to page number 14 number 4 tires tires are made up of rubber leather or plastic obviously rubber so you'll write rubber see rubber you'll tick rubber then number 5 bricks are made up of clay rubber or glass no not glass so it is made up of bricks are made up of clay so you write clay then number 6 books are made up of cloth paper or nylon so obviously books are made up of paper then comes 7 sweets are made up of salt sugar or pumpkin sugar yes then blankets are made up of cotton wool or paper blankets are made up of wool isn't it so you will write wool w w o l then number 9 shirts are made up of cotton wood or leather shirts so shirts are made up of cotton then doors are made up of doors are made up of wood oil or paper wood yes write down wood w o d then utensils utensils are made up of steel rubber or paper paper utensils no never then utensils are made up of number 11 utensils are made up of steel s t w e l steel clear then number 12 robots robots are made up of paper plastic or metals robots are generally made up of metals isn't it so this way we have fill up filled up the blanks using the correct material noun from the options given okay so we have completed the material we have completed material noun also in the next class we will do we'll start with number 5 that is abstract noun okay clear this much uh, is it clear to all of you if you have any confusion you can ask me you can write questions you can write your doubts okay so children do this thing in the book all this thing whatever i have told you today you have to do it in the book itself and then you will send it for correction okay thank you have a nice day